In the Sitilingi Valley of Tamil Nadu, tribals had to travel 50 kilometers for a basic hospital. In 1993, Tribal Health Initiative was born out of a desire of Dr. Reji George and Dr. Lalita to empower the tribal villagers to take care of their own health. Today, a 30-bed primary care hospital with a 24 bar 7 labor room serves the need of 1 lakh people from 250 villages covering 80 kilometers. The much needed operation theater conducts about 100 surgeries per month. Being in the middle of forests and hills, the healthcare center faces severe power interruptions affecting the surgical procedures in the operation theater. Moreover, voltage fluctuations affect sensitive medical equipments. Even when it starts clouding up, there's the first clap of thunder, the, the EB department uh, puts off all the power. After a storm, then you can expect the power to come back only after about, about a week. We tried to do with generators, but then they're very expensive and fuel has to be purchased 50 kilometers away. In an emergency, there's no time that we can waste. You know, everybody gets on their toes and tries to fix things. So sometimes the generator doesn't work. So they have like holding torches like this, like three or four people holding torches when we do surgeries. So <laughs> it's, it's always a very tense moment for all of us. When we are just delivering a baby during a cesarean section, the power just shuts off to get the baby to cry immediately and you know, then to get the generator on, it still takes some time, you know, three, four minutes and those three, four minutes are very crucial. And that is why we opted for solar power. After assessing the energy requirements, a decentralized renewable energy project to power an entire operation theater was implemented by Selco Foundation. A 6 kilowatt solar system now powers the OT, which is equipped with an anesthesia machine, efficient shadowless light, suction machine, air conditioner and other medical appliances. On the days when the OT is not running, the same system powers the autoclave for sterilization, thus optimally using the energy generated. By solar powering, the OT now has access to reliable clean energy. The diesel itself was like almost 15,000 rupees. That was during the rains. But I think on an average, you'd be spending like close to 10,000 rupees a month. So now it's like almost more than a lakh of savings for the hospital, which we can use for the poor patients. Hence, solar energy proves to be a clean and financially viable energy source for reliable healthcare delivery. Diesel is thus no longer required, thereby saving expenses and the OT runs unhindered, fully prepared for any emergency situation. We have a policy that they just pay what they have, so it is easy on their pockets and we are able to do the most advanced care. But all care uh, needs power and uh, that is where solar power comes in very useful. Now, the labor room is also being upgraded with energy efficient equipment and decentralized energy 